From birth, the children of the North hear tales of the end of the world. swallow the sun and moon, when the stars will be snuffed and the earth will tremble, when the gods will face the tribes of giants in a final battle that will ravage all the nine worlds. All father of the gods, Odin, has always smiled upon the human race. To the most devout of his followers, he entrusts stones inscribed with his personal rune, a mark of his power in the human world of Midgar. These rune stones are protected by only the most valiant of human warriors until the day they die and are taken by the Valkyries to fight alongside Odin at Ragnarok. Of all creatures, only one does not fear Ragnarok. The evil god, Loki. Bound deep in the bowels of the earth by Odin himself, only Ragnarok will set Loki free to have his revenge on gods and man alike. And it is only the power on Midgard of Odin and his runestones that holds Ragnarok at bay. People of Wotenkeld, we gather this day to honor one from our midst, younger than any ever so honored. He is yet wise and strong beyond his years. He has carried shields in the battles at Hindal and Uthabi, and aided in the fortification of this village, following the dark tales we have heard from the Northlands. Through trial by single combat, he has proven today that he is ready to take a place among the warriors of this village. Ragnar, son of Jarl, Kneel here before the runestone of Odin, and hear me. You must now put aside all childish things. Swear yourself to protect this stone, and the village that surrounds and upholds it. Swear to stand beside your sword brothers until death, to defend this holy shrine of the All-Father. Raise now your sword and take up the glorious duties of the Odin's Blade.